some more breaking news coming in related to a very different story. We're going to move to that right now. An old video of retired Supreme Court Justice Indu Malhotra is doing the rounds on social media in which she can be seen saying that communist governments have taken over Hindu temples. Uh, it's thought that she was referring to the Padmanabha Swami temple in Kerala in that video. So there isn't a confirmation of that. But she can be heard saying that she, along with Justice Yu Yu Lalit, who is the new Chief Justice of India, she is heard saying that she and him had halted such takeovers by the government, such as in Kerala, with the state government, she alleged, takes over temples for revenue and specifically Hindu temples. She added, as we've already said, that she won't allow it. Take a look at this bite. That's what happens with these communist governments. They want to just take over because of the revenue. Their problem is the revenue. All over they've taken over. All over. Only Hindu temples. So Justice Lalit and I said, no, we will not allow it. My colleague Neetu Rego Kumar with us right now to bring us a lot more context on this entire story. Neetu, our audiences already know this is a slightly older video. The judge is now retired, but it's still obviously causing a lot of controversy. Could you bring us more context? See, what we understand is that Justice Indu Malhotra was in Kerala in Thiruvananthapuram, retired Justice Indu Malhotra. She had visited the Padmanabha Swami temple yesterday. And with this video, allegedly, what we understand is that, uh, that is what is being added, that it was what she said when she was there visiting the temple to some devotees. There was no media there, and this is uh, what somebody had uh, recorded in their phone. So we, we heard uh, what she has been saying in this. Now, uh, this uh, this comment, uh, uh, what we are understanding is that she is speaking about uh, this in the context of the Padmanabha Swami temple verdict in 2020, which uh, uh, basically that was uh, that in that uh, order, the Supreme Court had uh, uphold the right of this uh, this uh, the erstwhile Pravanko royal family to manage and administer. So that role was, uh, uh, um, uh, it, it, that, that is what the Supreme Court order has said. But the affairs of this temple is being managed by a committee led by the district judge. The member of the erstwhile Pravanko royal family will only be a part of this. So what we are understanding is that it was in the context of this order uh, that uh, she had uh, said this. This has now uh, received a lot of snacks with the former finance minister of Kerala and CPM leader Thomas Isaac tweeting out that uh, just as Hindu Malhotra is ignorant of public finance of Kerala government and was deeply prejudiced against communists. Not a passe of central revenues enter budget receipts while hundreds of crores are spent for facilities for devotees and to support temple administration. So this is something has been, this debate is something which has been going on for some time with one faction claiming that the government is taking over or that the only uh, Hindu temples are being run by the government. Now, whereas the government in the previous terms also by showing um, how much they spend on temples from the state coffers, from the state uh, uh, budget, how much they uh, spend uh, for the development of temples and uh, uh, the major temples. So all this, uh, this argument back and forth has been going on so that is this is again now faster controversy okay uh, stay with us we have ananya bhatnagar our legal correspondent he's with us right now to bring us more context ananya i just want to understand from you i can see that these remarks uh, by the former judge are being panned online i i can see that a number of people online are saying uh, that these are exclusionary statements and they're also raising composition they're also raising a number of questions on the composition of supreme court and high court judges could you bring us more context on what the reactions have looked like online and why there's such furor Well, yes, these comments are very, very important in nature that because remember that this is uh, Justice Indu Malhotra who's not only been a part of the, Swa the Swami Padmanava Temple Judgment because remember it was this bench headed by, uh, uh, in fact, uh, uh, Miss uh, Indu Malhotra and in fact uh, Justice Yuri Lalit who, who is currently the Chief Justice of India which had refused uh, the government to take over all of these, uh, te the Swami Padmanabha temple in, in, in the south and in fact uh, had also uh, given out all uh, the control to the royal family of Travancore and remember this is the clear judgment that she is uh, particularly talking about uh, 
Remember that she is also uh, the same judge who had a dissenting opinion in the Sabrimala Temple case. And uh, uh, another uh, important case that she is associated with is the PM security breach. She was the head of the committee that had found the role of Punjab police uh, uh, in, in the lapse that had occurred in the PM's uh, security breach. So the comments definitely are, are very, very important. They were given out uh, after uh, uh, event at the Trivankur Medical College. And remember, the, Mr. Shashi Tharoor, the Congress MP, had also uh, been a part of this event and had tweeted a picture with uh, Justice Indu Malhotra saying that he's, he's very pleased to meet her. But these comments are very, very important uh, in, in the nature of uh, various matters are pending, not only before the Supreme Court, but also also the, the Madras High Court with regards to the management of temples and this is a, a long pending issue that has been there for a very long time, uh, particularly with regards to the management of temples in the south. So uh, particularly these comments uh, coming in from a former judge uh, have a lot of weightage and value. So uh, somewhere or the other these are also inviting criticism in, in, in social media. And then stay with us. We have viral. senior BJP leader um, KK Alphonse is with us right now. Sir, KJ, KJ, uh, KJ Alphonse is with us on the phone right now. Sir, thank you so much for staying with us here on CNN News 18. I believe we did keep you waiting for a minute or two there. Uh, sir, a statement like this coming in from a judge, obviously now retired, but still, sir, I'd love to know what your reaction is to this. No, I think what she said is very, very true because, you see, communists don't believe in God. And they want to take over temples, advantage the temples. I mean, isn't it a massive contradiction by Marxist uh, terminology itself? It's crazy. I think those people who are non-believers should keep off temples. And by any time and by every means, I don't think religion needs to be politicized. I don't think any party needs to take control of temples. Leave it to the temple management. Leave it to the believers. I think what the communists are doing is a complete contradiction in their own ideology. And, of course, all this is because they want to control the money that comes to the temples because temples are rich. And I think this is completely inappropriate. I think what the Honorable uh, Judge of the Supreme Court, the retired judge, has said is absolutely true. Okay. Sir, thank you so much for joining us with your reaction to this story. We also have Rahul Ishwar, an activist. He's with us on the phone right now. Sir, thank you so much for waiting. Sir, what is your first reaction to comments that have come in by Indu Malhotra? First of all, please remember this is beyond politics. This is a very serious, deep policy issue, a spiritual issue that is sensitive for the believers. And I thank a very eminent leader like Sri Alphonse Kanandanam for airing our sentiments. Please understand, we are only requesting that just like our Christian brothers and Muslim brothers have right over their church and mosque, we Hindus also need to have a right over our temple. That's the reason why we are requesting we need to free temples. Britishers back in 1812 to the conspiracy by Macaulay took over our temples because they wanted to weaken the national movement. And right now, Hindu Malhotraji is pointing out a very important thing that communists like Alphonse rightly pointed out who are atheists who wants to rule temples because they want power, they want control, they want power over money and people. This is the reason why they are doing it. And, you know, let me be very factual about it. The communist government, uh, you know, was uh, fighting against Chabrimala when they were ruling Chabrimala. So how can this contradiction you know, be reconciled? That's the reason why the believers are saying that believers rule, believers committee rule. There have been various applications in the Supreme Court regarding the same, that believers should have the right to temple, not any politics for that matter, whether it be right or left. Similarly, we witnessed some protests in Uttarakhand against, uh, against the BJP government. They were trying to take off temples, and thankfully, BJP government withdrew from it. So it's beyond a political matter. It is a sensitive, faith-related matter. Hindu community need to have right over the temples. And Justice Hindu Valhotra was applauded by none less than the Prime Minister for taking a courageous dissenting view in Shabirwala case, and her position proved right against the four male judges. So she is a person who we deeply respect, and she was honored by the devotees yesterday in Sri Pakmanabhaswan temple, you know, aware this particular video was shot. You know, it was the great now some temple. So the policy issue is let the secular government be respected. They keep an arm's distance from church, temple, mosque, gurudwara, vihara, synagogue, or any place of worship because they belong to believers, they belong to devotees, they belong to deity, and not to any government because no government has built any temples. These temples were built by the money of the devotees and devotees' forefathers and foremothers. So that sentiment should be respected. What Hindu Valhotnati said is a very significant policy approach that all the secular establishment and government should follow in our nation.